Hi everyone, this is Vanessa from the Alpus Cast. Welcome back to the Fireplace series. In the last video, we cleaned up our routes a little bit and showed a flash message when a project is created. In this video, we're going to add the ability to delete a project. So let's get started. We're going to open up our routes file and add a new function. The method is going to be delete. The path will just be slash. We're going to use our project controller again. And this time we'll call a function called delete. Let's give it a name. All right, let's go and add this function to our project controller. Let's write out our plan for the new function and then we'll implement it. We know that we're gonna need to get the project ID. Once we have the project ID, we're going to delete the project. And then it makes sense to show a flash message to the user. And finally, let's redirect back to where we came from. Now let's write the implementation. All right, so let's get the ID and I'm going to name it ID. And I know the value is going to be a long because it's an ID in our database. So I'm going to say call dot long param and then the key, which is just ID, or abort. So basically what we're saying here, if the parameter is not included, we're going to need to just abort this call. We can't continue forward. So we're going to use that um, handy function from Alpus. Now we have our ID. Let's actually delete it. So it's going to be from the projects table and we're going to say dot delete where it dot ID is equal to our ID. And now we'll just need to import this from KTORM. Great. So we've done these first two steps. Now we need to flash a message. I'm going to copy this because it's going to be very similar. So in this case, we're going to say select successfully deleted our project. And I don't really need to tell you which project was deleted. You'll notice right away anyway. So we'll leave it like that. And now we need to redirect back to where we came from. So we're going to say call dot redirect. And we'll use the Alpus function back. So now we're going to go back to where we came from. I think this looks good. Let's actually add the button to our view so we can test it out. The view we're going to add this to is the project list view. And I want the button to be right here. So I'm just going to paste that code. Like I said in the last video, I'm adding a link to the source code for this project in the video description down below. So check that out to get the view code yourself. Okay. And now you'll, you'll see it's going to call our projects.delete and pass in the project ID. So that looks good as well. Okay, I've rebuilt it. Let's go check it out. Now we've got a delete button here. This is the project I want to delete. I'm just going to hit this button. And we got our flash message and you'll notice the project is gone. So that worked. And that's it for this lesson. We added the ability to delete projects. In the next video, we're going to start restricting access to projects. So that way only the user who owns the project can access them. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.